My name is Justin DiManio. I'm the IT project manager and system specialist for the uh, Penn State Brain Lines ITS office. Hi, my name is Hoi Michael Chung, and I have been working with the Penn State ITS department in the last two years. Hi, my name is Teresa Walls. Um, I work in the ITS department of Penn State Brain Wine. I've been here for 31 years. My name is Mark Frame. I am a current student enrolled here at Penn State Brandywine. I work for the ITS department. I've been working there for the past two years. Hi, my name is Rob Barbado. I've been working here at the Penn State Brandywine IT department for about five semesters now. Um, we got Jim, and he's our director of IT. And uh, he keeps us all in line. Um, he's also a, uh, a great mentor um, and a fantastic uh, business mind. Um, so whenever we have business questions or financial or accounting questions, uh, we always go to Jim. Um, and uh, on top of that, uh, he, he's great with IT as well. Um, so he's kind of he's kind of a mixed bag. We got Michael, and uh, Michael we picked up. He's he's our recent hire, and um, he's uh, he does a lot of end user support. As we well. have Joe, who's our uh, infrastructure intern, and uh, he's been. Um, He's been great because he's brought a lot of knowledge on top of uh, what we already know. Like he, he goes a step beyond that. Um, he brings a fresh perspective as a fellow student and um, and an intern as Mark. He uh, he's our he's another end user support. Um, he does a lot of student uh, assistance as well as faculty assistance in the classroom. Uh, we have good students that work for us, like Mark and Joe. That pretty much Mark take care of pretty much everybody in the help desk and uh, audio, video equipment and setting up, you know, different seminars and stuff like that. And Joe is our new hire. And I don't know where this guy come from, but like he's like 20 years old, but this look like he have like 65 years of experience on that thing. So, you know, I'm very glad to be, you know, a little piece of the family. The ID department has um, morphed ever since its inception. And that was, I mean, further back than, than when I came along. But um, um, before it was just pretty much computers. Uh, we had a bunch of computer labs on campus and uh, somebody with a little bit of knowledge needed to um, upkeep those computers. And it was like something along the lines of 40 computers or 60 computers. And now that's blown up to about 200 plus lab computers and about 200 plus faculty and staff computers. It's not all we do anymore. Um, now it's, it's uh, breached another line as far as uh, PDAs, iPhones, um, Blackberries uh, and uh, pretty much anything anything with a wire on it and now anything that doesn't have a wire on it also um, could be considered IT. Um, for the most part we're here to maintain uh, a, a network where these devices can function. Um, sometimes that's hard to do because there's a lot of different devices but uh, on top of that we also maintain any of the hardware um, involved uh, as far as the lab computers and any uh, faculty or staff, or staff issued computers. Um, we also deal with the phones too, and we're actually um, in the process of getting uh, a VoIP system in place, which will tie all this with IT once again. I mean, we were in charge with phones at the beginning, but that also used to be two separate um, departments, and now that's kind of merged into IT as well. So it's ever growing um, as technology gets not only uh, more advanced, but cheaper. We try to make your stuff work with our stuff. That, to, to put it simply, we try to make it so that like you get, you can reach Angel um, as a student or, or faculty and staff too. I mean, staff even can, have, can access Angel for all purposes. And so it just doesn't stop there. I mean, working with the wireless network on campus, uh, troubleshooting devices that you might have um, issues with, like a laptop if you brought it in and uh, it had a virus on it or something isn't working right. I mean, we can we could be kind of like that first aid for your laptop. I work here as a lab aid. Um, I do stuff like stock printers, change container cartridges, I connect your computer to the internet, and I will also reformat computers if they're infected with viruses. I do not have children, but I do have children here at Penn State Brandywine. Every semester we have approximately 15 to 18 students that work for us, and I kind of take these students underneath my wings. Um, I enjoy the students, they keep me young and I like to um, see them achieve in their education. It's very important that they get their education and then here working at the IT department, they get some work experience. I've enjoyed over the years working with these students. I've been in a couple weddings. Um, some of the students have left the area and they keep in touch via Facebook or email. 
um, when our students start working here, we have a tendency to give our students nicknames. Um, I, I would say 90% of our students have nicknames. A um, couple examples, we had one student, um, we called him Four Door. He was from Sedan, and uh, we just called him Four Door, Four Door Sedan. It's a very friendly atmosphere. Um, I enjoy everybody that I work with. Uh, and when you get the right projects and, and you do them right, it doesn't feel like work. It feels like um, another uh, challenge to rise up to. And uh, I guess it's just it just becomes fun when when you get um, when you get the correct group of guys involved. Um, there's a lot of good people here. Like for staff, we have five full-time staff, and we kind of like a family. It's great. Uh, it's been a great opportunity. I've loved every minute of it. Gordon said it best. She's kind of like our air, air traffic controller. She um, she directs us where we need to go. She keeps us in line. She's not afraid to yell at us. Uh, she's not afraid to throw things at us. And uh, it can get pretty rowdy in here, but she definitely keeps us in line. She, uh, without her, this department really doesn't work at all. A lot of the students call me Mother Teresa. Um, I, I just try to be the mother away from home for them. Um, I've helped students with all types of needs over the years and um, I'm just thankful that I got to meet these students and I just like to see them achieve. Um, they're really great kids. Um, they're not really kids, they're young adults. So my, my favorite part of the IT department would be the social aspect, um, as funny as that sounds, um, the, the people aspect. I enjoy this department because of the technology and the learning experience. The best part I've always liked about the IT department are the people that work for it. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to miss the most. Uh, the people that I work with, uh, every single one of them, they've always had a great impact on my studies here, uh, everything that I've learned. I think that is what's going to be a major disadvantage when I leave here, when I graduate and I find another job. I think I'm going to expect something um, similar to what I have here and I don't think I'll be able to find it anywhere. My favorite thing about working at the IT department is certainly my co-workers. I love all of them. They're some of the best people I've ever met. We have a good time here. I've learned a lot about life, computers, anything really. I have learned many things here, uh, both from Justin, uh, Michael, mostly them because I work under both of them. Uh, I've also been learning a lot of things from Joe. So I will be, hopefully, uh, be able to use that knowledge in a, a career. Uh, I know I will be able to. I've learned a lot of things outside of class in the work environment here on campus. So it's definitely boasted my knowledge in the IT world and in multiple areas. They do hire students. Um, they offer great internships. Uh, it can definitely, as long as you're willing to work, as long as you're willing to learn things, you can definitely do it here. Um, and what's the advent what's what's more of an advantage than going to class and coming to work? You walk to work. There's no driving intended. Um, you go from class to work, and you can learn more things. So it's definitely a a, a great opportunity for a student that's looking to learn more uh, things about IT.